Hello friends, hope you are doing great. In today's IELTS lesson, I'm going to give you some writing tips. Make sure you organize your writing before you begin. Use the bottom of page two of your test booklet to create a concept map. The examiners judge your writing on its clarity. Make sure you have supported your ideas with specific details. You can write more than 150 words for task one or more than 250 words for task two, but you can't write less. You will lose points if you have less than the assigned number of words in your essay. Learn to look at your writing and estimate how many words it is. Don't waste precious time counting words. Better phrase the question in your introduction. Learn the words and phrases used to link sentences and paragraphs. Add personal experiences and details whenever possible. You must answer the question completely. Do not leave any part out or you will lose points. Organize your time carefully. Leave time for planning, writing, and revising. Write your essays in the correct place. Task 1 needs to be written on page 1 and 2 of your writing test booklet. Task 2 needs to be written on page 3 and 4. Don't forget to indent. Write clearly and legibly. Cross out changes neatly or erase thoroughly. Leave some time at the end to check for and correct spelling and grammar mistakes. Read as much and as often as you can so that you become more familiar with the way writing is organized. Read the sample responses to the IELTS writing test with scores, test takers. Watch your time. You have only 20 minutes for task one and 40 minutes for task two. Now we move to the writing skills. Responding to the task. Target one, determining the test. Read the task carefully. You must write what you are told. You must complete the task. Do not forget any parts of the task. Here are some possible tasks. Number one, describe the main features of a chart or graph. Number two, describe the advantages and disadvantages of an issue. Number three, describe a problem and solution. Number four, give an invitation. Number five, explain your opinion. Number six, describe a process. Now we move to the academic training exam practice. Practice number one. Read the questions, then read the following test and answer the questions. Question number one. How long can I spend writing the answer? This is task one, so I will have 20 minutes. Question number two. How many words will I write? This is task one, so I will have at least 150 words. Question number three. Will I summarize a chart or explain a process? I will summarize the information from two charts. Question number four. What is the topic? The topic is how average middle income Families spend their household budgets in two different years. Question number five. What do I have to compare? I have to compare how the budget was spent in the year 2010 with how it was spent the year 2012. Academic task one. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. Now we move 
to the practice session. Read the questions, then read the following task and answer the question. Question number one. How long can I spend writing the answer? This is the task two, so I will have 40 minutes. Question number two. How many words will I write? This is a task two. I will write at least 250 words. Question number three. Will I give an opinion or describe a pr process? Yes, I will have to explain my opinion about success and money. Question number four. What is the topic? The topic is whether or not money equals success. Question number five. Do I have to justify an opinion? If so, how? Yes, I have to justify my opinion with reasons and examples from my own life and experiences. Now, we move to the academic task two. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. A successful person is one who has earned a lot of money. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Now we move to the general training exam practice. Practice 1. Read the questions. Then read the following task and answer the questions. Question number one. How long can I spend writing the answer? Answer. This is task one, so I will have 20 minutes. Question number two. How many words will I write? Answer. This is task one, so I will write 150 words. Question number three. What is the topic? Answer. The topic is TV programs that I don't like. What three things do I have to include? I have to explain why I don't like the current programs. Say which kinds of programs I prefer and tell why these programs are better. Question number five. Do I have to present a solution or provide facts Answer. I have to represent a solution by suggesting better programs to replace the current ones. Practice 2. Read the questions, then read the following task and answer the questions. Question number 1. How long can I spend writing the answer? Answer. This is task 2, so I will have 40 minutes. Question number 2. How many words will I write? Answer. This is task two, so I will write at least 250 words. Question number three. What is the topic? Answer. The topic is living situations for older people. Question number four. Do I have to justify an opinion? Answer. No, I don't have to justify an opinion. Question number five. Do I have to describe two sides of an issue? Answer, yes, I have to describe the advantages and disadvantages of a special homes for the elderly. So, friends, that's all for today. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.